About seven years ago, I made the unfortunate mistake of dropping out of high school, and I just had no motivation to do school, no interest in school, and quite frankly, I just really didn't care about school. Um, and then about a year later, I started seeing all my friends from high school graduating, going off to college, or just doing things that I deemed like successful in life. So at that point, I'm like, okay, maybe I should go back to high school and at least finish. I still wasn't motivated at all to do school, um, but I'm like, I at least need to finish high school. And I thankfully barely scraped by with a 1.9 GPA. So I decided to enlist in the Air Force. And unfortunately, I did not make it to basic training and I got sent back home. And a old high school friend who I've not spoken to in about three years uh, was currently at Tech and he actually ended up being my roommate here at Tech as well. And he reached out to me, he's like, you know, hey man, how's life going? And I just gave him the whole spill and he just kind of told me, he's like, do you like coding? And I'm just like, uh, I don't know, I never really tried coding. And uh, he's like, you should, try, you should probably try learning Python. And I'm like, what is Python? So I started teaching myself Python and I kind of just like fell in love with just coding and like the problem solving aspect of it. So I asked him, like, you know, how do I get a job doing this stuff? And he's like, well, you should probably go to college and get a degree in computer science. Now my college, like I graduated with 1.9 GPA, I'm gonna get into college. And he's like, well, you can go to community college and just transfer into tech and we can be roommates. I said, sure, you know, I'll go enroll at Georgia State Perimeter College. And I'm like, you know what, at this point, uh, I'm going to get to tech and I'm not going to give up no matter what comes my way. So I just set out to master school and, you know, actually complete a goal in my life. I was actually super paranoid uh, before I, like, once I got accepted to tech, I'm like, okay, this is awesome. I got accepted. Uh, but then once I actually started, a summer started coming around, I started getting nervous. I'm like, you know, the imposter syndrome setting in. Like, I know this was really difficult. And my friends, like, my friend told me, he's like, look, dude, you got this. And that's actually when I moved in with him at uh, North Avenue. And I think that summer semester was great for me because it helped me, like, just kind of, like, give a smooth transition into tech. And also, campus wasn't as busy, so you could walk around and see what campus is all about. Right now, I'm just focused on getting into, uh, in, into industry and I'm moving to the Bay Area to be a software engineer for Walmart Global Tech. I think the best thing about tech is not only like the academics you learn, but I think something that's more uh, valuable is the people you meet. Looking back, um, it is kind of crazy. You know, I literally, honestly, I owe everything to my friend and also my dad. Uh, I'm thankful that my dad and my parents let me live at home. Uh, and he did, of course, get a job, so I could just stay focused on academics. Uh, although I did become like a math group for a time at Georgia State, to, you know, just make some money. Um, but if it wasn't for my dad letting me live at home, completely rent free, he never complained, he let me get my stuff together. And for that, I'm super grateful.